everybody, Brandon Parker back again with another tutorial. This time this tutorial is going to be for Cinema 4D, showing you how I did uh, my intro that I just uh, created for this channel just now that you see at the beginning of the video. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Okay, so this is a, a quick recap of how it looks like a little bit. This right here and everything, it's pretty neat. Show you how I did this part with the Cinema 4D part. Because uh, this part right here, I did this in uh, After Effects, the where it says Master Sun, and then Picked Pocket Media, 88 Reasons to Subscribe. I did that part in After Effects, and then this little cool sparkle this effect, I did that with After Effects as well. So I'm going to show you first, uh, uh, in this part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you in Cinema 4D. So I'm going to open up Cinema 4D. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to file, open up the project, and show you what it looks like uh, a little bit. So we're going to go to oh, yeah, desktop. Okay, right here. Okay, this one. Okay, this is what it kind of looks like a little bit uh, with the project and everything. kind of a little slow because I added a lot of stuff going on in here so it's sad this beginning where it starts see that right there okay I'm going to show you uh, some tips in here and stuff how did how I did this getting it spinning in circles okay I already showed you so far uh, with my first two tutorials on my second one that I did for Cinema 4D, I showed you how to play around with the emitter a little bit. I'm going to show you all the stuff inside the emitter, uh, where the emitter is. I'm going to show you all of these, what they do a little bit. Okay. Because they can be com a bit confusing, like all these friction, gravity, wind, all these can be confusing. Okay. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to close this. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go to File, okay, this is new, okay, let's go to change the render settings, always change it to uh, output, I'm going to change it to 1280, 1280, which is 1280 by 720, okay, okay, I have that, okay, before we do anything with text or whatever, we're just going to get our floor so we're gonna do the colors for the floor alright I'm gonna make it black because I think it w comes in pretty cool making it black instead of white like a lot of people do so I'm gonna do it black okay reflection put a reflection there I always put the reflection to about 60 for right now and if it's too much then I'll bring it down a, li a lot more but 60 is a good uh, start. Sometimes it comes in good at 60. Okay. Then next what I'm going to do is I double click again. And I'm going to pick for my text color when I have get my text ready. I'm going to make it... Let's make it red for right now. Okay. Another one for the text again. I mean, uh, for the... Because the three things that I had, I had it on my 8 repeated, and then because of my username is Mastin88, and I put 8 there being repeated. So I'm going to have this to be, let's have this to be black, blue. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to go to yellow for this one. Okay, we want it to be yellow. Okay, make this yellow. Alright, yellow. I'll make sure we add a reflection to all of them. Uh, where's the reflection? In here. Okay, bring it all the way down to 60. Uh, probably about 50 on these. Yeah, 50. Okay, yeah, 50. Okay, go to 50. Set so 60. Oh, brightness back to 100. Put the reflection. 
Make sure I have it checked. Okay, put it all the way to 50. Alright. This. Put this all the way to 50. Or not in the brightness on the uh, reflection. Put it all the way to 50. Okay, that should be good for now. Probably bring this down a lot more. Probably bring it down all the way to 40. Yeah, right about there. See more of the black. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a floor. Go to Objects, Scene. Get your floor that you... Okay, get the floor. Okay, always do the floor at this number. 99. In the middle section. 99. Okay, 9,999, 9,999, okay, right there, okay, the next, we're going to go to objects, we're going to go to scene again, get your sky, that's what I would like to do, some people say floor and all that other stupid junk, it's too much, it's easier with the sky, okay, leave the sky, okay, then we're going to grab the black, okay, put that up there, the sky, we don't need to add, add the color there. All we got to do is go to uh, basic. We go to use color. It's off. Put it on on. Then you go to here. Put it to black. Okay. Render this out. Okay. Now it's all black. Okay. Okay. Next we're going to go to uh, MoGraph. We're going to go to MoTeX. This is Cinema from 40 R12. So it's MoTeX. Okay. Um, and then we're going to here, make sure we're going to go to object, type it in, we're going to type this in as Masterson. Or actually, actually, no, we're going to put the 8 on this. Okay, 8, like I'm, okay, 8 on this. Okay, then we're going to put the depth all the way to, let's just put it all the way to, 50, I mean, actually 80, 80, okay, and then we're going to pick, because the text that I'm going to be using is I'm going to go to fillet caps, okay, and then we're going to go to, well, back to objects, make sure I put it, the font type, I'm going to put it to this font right here, Invisible Killer, it's the Predator font from the Predator movies, it's pretty neat, okay, and I'm going to change the size of this, height, I'm going to change it all the way to down on the height all the way to let's put it all the way to uh, 140 or yeah let's try 120 for now okay 120 for now okay then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, right here in the meter we're gonna click on this okay I always drag it down and then we're gonna throw this in there okay so it's not sh so we're going to go to back to the meter, make sure you highlight on it, go to show object. Okay, bring this up, make sure it's doing its thing by clicking on the end. Okay, it's doing its thing now. Okay, the next what we're going to do is we're going to uh, want to uh, do this. We're going to uh, actually position it, turn it around. So what we're going to do is turn it around here, we're going to turn it around all the way to right about there okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to have it all the way to probably like about let's say 30 degrees something like that, whatever floats uh, whatever floats your boat, whatever uh, you, that kind of thing whatever you like for your preferences okay how, we're gonna have it shoot out so it can spin and we're gonna how to get it to spin in a circle we're gonna go to a, a tractor okay and you notice that if you drag this inside the attractor it won't do anything watch I'll show you I'll show you I'll drag this inside the attractor it, it won't do anything watch yeah see it's supposed to do this, so we're going to get the attractor. Take this out of the attractor. Okay. Okay, we're going to have this pointing to the floor. So we're going to go to here. We're going to go to 
MoGraph, um, not MoGraph, uh, dynamic tags, go to dynamic body. Okay, on dynamic body, we're going to, uh, okay, on that, and then we're going to go back to the floor, and we're going to go to dynamic body on the floor. Then we're going to go to control, click. Okay, make sure they're pointing to each other like that. Okay. Okay, make sure on the, and you can see the extractor working, as you can see it's spinning there a little bit. We're going to, uh, mess with the side of the extractor uh, strength. We're going to put the strength all the way to, I say, a thousand, uh, like, to right about there for now. The more you have it, like, way higher, higher, the more it's going to uh, spin a lot better. Then you're going to have to mess around with this fallout from infinite. We're going to change it to a uh, sphere because you're going to want, like, uh, like, uh, like, like, balls falling down or something like that and then we're not having like cubes or whatever we're having like uh, balls falling down so we're going to change the size of this scale all the way to we're going to scale this all the way to let's see uh, the bigger the better so that it spins more when it gets inside don't mess with that and do that uh, change the size of this oops hit it and do that Make sure I'm clicked on this. Okay, to right about there. Okay, drag this all the way to here. Play it, see how that's gonna do its thing. See, you can see how it's working. So we're gonna play around with this a little bit. Okay, uh, we're gonna play with the, okay, that 50 object, speed limit. I uh, put it down to Let's try 350, see what happens. Okay, now let's see. Okay, we're going to play around with the size of the, the text, because the text is probably a bit too large. Um, let's go back to basic. Object. Take it down on the height. All the way to 50. Okay, now let's see what happens. Actually, actually, I would take this off off of the meter, the dynamic tag that we have on here. To delete that, put it on this. Yeah, that's a mistake I made. Put it on the the dynamic tag on that on the. Eight. I put it on the eight. Then what I'm gonna do is that, and now it should be correct now. Okay, and we're gonna uh, uh, for the text. Okay, depth. I'm gonna change it down a lot because we put it to fifty. I put it to like thirty or twenty. Twenty is good, I guess. Because we, we have to make it pretty small. So I made it to about that size. That's kind of how it, how I have it on my intro on the 8 when you see the 8. Okay, we're going to have to uh, make it go up a little more. So we're going to drag, uh, flip this around all the way more and more and more to right about there. See how that looks. I'm playing it again. Oh, the speed. We're going to change the speed of it, too. We're going to change the speed. Uh, let's go to uh, the emitter. Change the speed. Uh, okay, let's make it go fast, faster. Lifetime. Actually, leave the, uh, uh, undo that. Leave the lifetime. Change the speed. We're going to change it to, i say, 500 for now. Okay, now let's see how that goes. See that? You can see it's doing this thing now. I'm going to zoom in a lot more. See that I change the speed. Now it's going around in a circle. Because we have uh, the extractor, we have it at a pretty good uh, size. We're, we're going to go back to extractor. And we have it strength. We have it. Uh, sometimes you might have to put it a lot higher depending. 
But since uh, a thousand, uh, like uh, fifteen thousand, yeah, like fifteen thousand, it did it pretty good. Fifteen thousand is a good number. It may seem like it's a bit too much, but it actually does the job when you have it extremely high. So that's uh, pretty, pretty, pretty much it. How I how I did this, pretty much. Uh, all, and then uh, I just added a uh, uh, like spears uh, coming out of it. So you, like balls, like round spears. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, repeat this again. I'm gonna go to, we'll leave the extractor, the emitter. We're gonna go to copy. Okay, we're gonna copy this. Command C for Mac users. It's Command C to copy, and whatever it is on Windows, because I don't, I forget on Windows. Um, okay, and then Control V to paste it, because okay, um, okay, and then uh. And then you can, and then I would get rid of the eight uh, on the second one that I copied. Uh, I will get rid of that here in a second. Hold on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this. Okay, I'm going to move this all the way to here. Okay, go to here. Okay, spin it around. I'm gonna have to spin it around, so we're gonna spin it around all the way to here. Boom, and then we're gonna go back to this. Okay. Go on the blue one. Okay. Zoom out a lot more so I can see that right there, and then we're gonna have to get back to here. Flip this around to right about there. Okay, zoom in again. See if it does its thing. If it does it right, I'm gonna have to. Uh, you're gonna have to play around with it a lot more to get it to position correctly so that it does its thing. So we're going to go here. Okay. Then I'm going to go back to this. Okay. I'm going to go here. Click on the red. Okay, let's see if it does its thing. It's still not pointing to it, so I'm going to have to f zoom the camera all the way around. Yeah, it's not pointing at it, so I, that's why I couldn't. Okay, now it should go now. It, sh it should go now. Then I would have to bring this down. Bring this back a lot. Bring this out. Okay, spin this around. Okay, now now it should go in there. Okay, the more you zoomed in, the better. I was zoomed out, that's why I wasn't going in. Okay, I'd probably bring it a lot higher. Okay. I probably have to play around with the strength or the size of this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play around with the size of the extractor the size we're going to put it to uh, let's go to uh, object fallout on the on the fallout of uh, the extractor we're going to change the the scale we're going to change it to be a lot bigger the bigger the better and the strength you might have to bring it a lot higher to get it to spin a lot better Yeah, I'm gonna bring it up on the strength. On the, on the we're gonna go to object the strength. I'm gonna bring it up to, let's say, uh, let's say uh, two thousand five hundred or twenty five, twenty five thousand. I meant twenty five thousand. Okay, now let's see again. Yep, it's doing this thing. Speed limit. You might wanna. You might wanna. Let's see what what pin it all the way to two hundred uh, to uh, five hundred. Does sometimes playing around with that helps too. Okay, you can see that. You can see that. I'm gonna go down a lot more. 
Okay, you can change the timeline uh, length. You could change it from 90 frames. I would change it to like, uh, well, the way I have it for like about 10 seconds is 350. For about 10 seconds, that's usually how I have mine. I like my intros 10 seconds long, so I go to 350. Then I go to the uh, then I go to the meter. Then uh, the meter start at zero, and how would I want it end? The way that I have it ending on my intro is I have it at nine one ninety. Okay, oh, yeah, about one ninety. I have it in there. And I would have to play around with this. Okay, see how that goes. And sometimes you'd have to uh, play with it, like keep uh, starting it all over, because uh, you'd think it got messed up because it's like falling on the floor. But just make sure it's pointing to the floor. Your your uh, text is pointing to pointing to the floor. Plus Control. Uh, left click, control, left click on it, like this, and it should be pointing to the floor. Okay. And make sure it's a dynamic tag. That's pretty much it. You can add uh, whatever you want, like spheres. I'm going to change the one of the eights. I'm going to change it to a So instead of, uh, okay, I'm going to delete that. Okay, I'm going to change one of the eights. I'm going to change it to a sphere now. Or a circle, or, okay. A sphere, I'm going to change it to a sphere. Uh, I was on this guy. There we go. Uh, let's go to sphere. Okay, change the size. The smaller the better. Uh, let's see. Smaller on the radius, the better. Let's put it all the way to, i say, I guess about, I guess about 20 looks better. Not, or maybe 30. 30 is 30 is good. Ah, a bit too big. I'd say 20. Yeah, 20 is good. Okay. 20 is good for me. You can have it a lot smaller or as big as you want. Okay, now we're going to put the sphere. Make sure you're on the sphere, not this guy. Okay, put it in the meter. Okay. Pick the color you want that we got out of the three colors. Red, yellow, or blue. I'm not really using a sphere for mine, actually. I'm using uh, the platonic, this. Where's the platonic? Right here. I'm using that in my uh, actual intro. But pretty much, I just showed you how to do it. Okay, we changed one of the eights. I have one of the, I have my eight blue. Well, my eight is actually pointing uh, this way, like it's pointing this way. But uh, it's pretty much it. You just add a, you just add another copy, uh, uh, you're probably going to have to start all over on this. Oh, the reason why it's not going, okay, because we have to have, uh, let's go back to the sphere. Uh, okay, the sphere, make sure you add a dynamic tag to this. Okay. Control this, make sure it's on the floor. Okay, now it should work. Yep, there it goes. You can see that. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. There it goes. That's it. For every time you multi uh, copy these or have different ones inside there, it's going to... Okay, and that's it. Okay, now we're gonna. I'm gonna re uh, render this to show you. Okay, uh, render this. That that's it. That's pretty much how I have it. That's it. That's it. That's how I have it. You just play around. You add a camera. You animate this a little bit. I don't really animate much to it because I did most of the animation work inside uh, After Effects. I'll show you the After Effects part uh, later on this week. So it'll be uh, the second tutorial I'm going to be doing this week is uh, the After Effects part. 
that's most of the most of the work I did was in After Effects. The only only thing I did uh, was uh, this part a little bit, but most of it was done in After Effects. Most of the cool looking uh, stuff with the background, the shaking, all that in my intro, and the shininess and the uh, particle I have, which is the trap uh, trap code uh, particular. That's what they call it. Yep, I have that, and that one's not a free uh, plugin. You're gonna have to uh, buy that. And that's it. I hope you uh, got what you're looking for in this tutorial. Trying to make a cool intro. If you want me to make you an intro, or whatever, uh, I, I could do so. Uh, uh, as long as uh, you go to my website, uh, comment on my website on one of my tutorials, whatever. Because I put uh, all of my tutorials that I do on YouTube, I put them on uh, my website. I also put certain uh, like important topics. I'm still gonna start putting them on my forums, like I just did with. Uh, 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 Final Cut uh, X, which is Final Cut 10. Uh, uh, what I did with that is I um, showed a different topic on there and stuff on my forums and everything, and I'm doing different stuff with my forums, trying to get more people on there and stuff and and, and everything. So if you want an intro, all you have to do is uh, subscribe to my website, which is uh, become a member to my website, and uh, I'll know that you're a member to my website. And if you're a member to my website, then uh, I'll uh, make you an intro. If you're not, then I won't make you an intro. Because I think it's fair. Since I, uh, I decide for right now that I'm going to make uh, them free as of right now. Until I start uh, putting more stuff, uh, uh, some stuff on my store and everything. Then I'll start selling some. But uh, as of right now, they'll be free as long as you subscribe to my website. And you comment on there. Uh, one of the tutorials that you either sing on YouTube or whatever, just make sure you also go to my website and comment on it if you want to have an intro or whatever for your channel. And don't forget to subscribe to my uh, other two channels. One of them is a fan video channel. That one's Fantastic Art. And then uh, my second channel, which is Spinoc. That one I do random videos and whatever I do there, like like I just did with my uh, our newest video that I just did, I'll be doing a tutorial for that. Uh, here later on and that's it see you later and that's it